to improvise the very first issue of a never-before-seen comic book for you. And to get us started, we just need a suggestion of anything. Rubber band. Turtle. Rubber band! Wow. <laughs> so, on the cover of this, uh, of this comic book, uh, we see a man with uh, uh, elongated limbs uh, being torn uh, in separate directions. Uh, by, uh, on one direction, uh, we see this, uh, this sinister uh, demonic force uh, pointing towards a, uh, like this hellscape, like half the cover is like a, an inferno. Uh, and on the other side, we see um, a, a loving uh, wife uh, <laughs> who is trying to pull him back into their, uh, their domestic home. Yeah, and the demon is a super uh, uh, stiff and, and, and um, a straight wife. His wife is all loosey-goosey and all over the place. <laughs> yeah, even, uh, even this half of the comic book cover uh, that we see behind the wife, it's like a, an idyllic suburban landscape. It's like all of the houses are just like a little wavy. <laughs> All of the fire is very jagged and pointy, there's very, you know, fine angles to everything. Um, and we see uh, at the very bottom of the cover, uh, there's text that reads, uh, uh, Justice is getting stretched too thin. <laughs> and, uh, uh, the name of the hero, uh, across the very top, he's, uh, the Rubber Bandito. <laughs> The Adventures of the Rubber Bandito! Uh, so on the very first page of our comic book, it's, uh, it's very stylized. Uh, it's set in, some, uh, in a nameless uh, metropolitan, uh, with very stiff uh, structured buildings, uh, skyscrapers that go very tall, but they all, they all look exactly the same. Uh, we see in the window of one building, uh, a person at work, and at each uh, recent panel, we zoom uh, in closer and closer. Uh, it's for a, uh, the company's for a, a large chemical conglomerate, uh, and our, uh, our protagonist is uh, sitting behind a desk with uh, an in pile, uh, an out pile, um, lots of uh, staples, office supplies, you know, some rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Richardson! Oh. <laughs> afternoon, Mr. Jeffries. All right. Good afternoon to you, too. How's that uh, report coming along on the new uh, chemicals we're developing? Well, it's uh, Friday afternoon, and you gave it to me at 4.30, so uh, not well. <laughs> <laughs> kind of have to get home. Do we work at an excuse office? <laughs> <laughs> Inspection I gotta do tonight. It's gotta be done before the fiscal quarter ends, which is 
ironically, this week. <laughs> oh, that, that job is just so inflexible. Work-life balance is so inflexible. <laughs> 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 I know, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, I, I, I promise. I, I just, if I can just work here a little bit longer, I know I can get to the top of the mountain here and, and, and be something that you'd be proud of. I'm already proud of you. I, I wish you'd just loosen up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we turn the page. He's at the chemical factory. Uh, he's you know, wearing a hard hat and he's carrying a, kip, a clipboard and he's being uh, you know, toured through by the uh, factory operator. <laughs> All right, so here we've got a vat of uh, uh, sort of a, a glue-like substance we're working with. Yeah, there's no safety parameters around it at all. Had to cut costs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very adhesive, but can be produced very affordably. Uh, and here we've got a vat of a different glue-like substance. Uh, <laughs> also, at slightly more adhesive, but a little more expensive. Yeah, is that duct tape holding the thing together? Don't, uh, it's best not to look at that. Uh, <laughs> blind it from the different, the chemical flares. I, I, I gotta get out of here. The only way I'm gonna get out of here is I'll give you all passing, passing grade. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I mean, I'd really like a passing grade, you know. I got to, uh, I got to get back to my wife. We made plans this weekend. Same thing to me. Get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married for about a decade now. Oh wow, I've been on for five years. Oh, congratulations! What's that? The uh, so the first year's the paper year. Uh, Silver, gold, and frankincense. <laughs> <laughs> what about frankincense? That reminds me. <laughs> That is a frankincense uh, uh, synthesized knockoff. Uh, uh, I, I pay no attention to the, the bubbling as though it were some kind of witch's cauldron. <laughs> Carlos, how's the fact? I see you got rid of the safety parameters. Very good. Very good. Gotta cut costs. Richardson, are we done here? Go home, but it's unethical. Well, I want to ride my yacht and drink champagne with busty supermodels. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll pass it all. Let me, let me take you up to the. I respect your uh, your work ethic. Let me take you up to the catwalk. Let's do a quick bird's eye view of everything. You'll see that everything is just fine. You know, there's no problem whatsoever. We turn the page. Uh, to the catwalk, and like, it is just awful. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's held together with rubber bands. There's a table on the floor. They have to, you know, like, jump a yard at a time to make it across. All right, so, so this has been here for 35 years? Yeah, can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> you guys are supposed to fix these every two years. Oh boy! Yeah, uh, don't tell that to the the guys making all the decisions. <laughs> uh, we see as they're walking, the um, uh, the rubber band uh, materials is stretched thinner and thinner and thinner until it snaps and the foreman is uh, uh dropped down. Oh no! Help! Save yourself, man! Save this is such an unsafe place. No, you guys been married for ten years. I've only been married for five. <laughs> the giant chemical vat and as uh, you know the chemicals spurt up and we see a, a big splash page of his body melting in with the chemicals as if he's be becoming one with it. We also see uh, rubber bands falling into the uh, successing handle we see his body uh, start to lose its rigidity uh, and it starts to, uh, to move around a little bit more. It gets a little, it gets a little wobblier and wobblier. Uh, then we turn the page to um, uh, back to the, the office the next day. Jane Richardson uh, asking about her, her husband. I, I hate to bother you on a Saturday, Mr. Jeffries. I know you're a very busy man. but uh, I'm a very busy man. <laughs> I My husband didn't well, good. That means he's probably working like he should be. <laughs> I. Which, who's your husband? Uh, my husband is uh, uh, Jeff Richardson. 
We have no recollection of your husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but Mr. Jeffries, you don't understand. It was gonna, it was our anniversary. Good day. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta learn to, uh, to be, to be more flexible, Mr. Jeffries. Security. Have this woman escorted from my premises. You got it, boss. Wait, you'll hear from me. This isn't the last you've seen of Jane Richards. <laughs> He ruined that vat of chemicals that was ready for production. <laughs> now sales are tanking. I'm gonna lose my champagne and my yacht and my busty supermodels. <laughs> On command, uh, his cabinet opens up and it reveals uh, like a pentagram. <laughs>
taste that dark alley. What oh, man. Give me that pocket watch. This pocket watch was given to me by my grandfather who fought in World War II. Yeah. Yeah, well. Well, I won it. You know what? <laughs> Back then there were there were terrible people and no one stood up to them. I hope that someone stands up to you one day. Yeah. Who's gonna <laughs> stop you? I have the knife. I have the power. Excuse me. Do any of you have the time? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, we are back at his house. Uh, it is late at night and his wife is up. She's been crying. She's been uh, drinking. She's, she's not in your place, folks.
got one more act for you tonight. 